So Dumpsys is a command line tool provided within Android. So it can be used to get information about the system services. So as you already know, there are a lot of system services in Android system. For example, activity management service, package management service, window management service, Bluetooth management service, and etc. So there are more than 100 system services in any Android system. So when you work with system services, the Dumpsys tool can help you a lot. So it can provide you with the diagnostic information or the current state of the system services. So let's dig deeper how this works. So I have the emulator open here. And if I need to find out all the system services which are running in the emulator, I could use Dumpsys. Like for example, ADB L Dumpsys hyphen L. L stands for to list out all the services. So it will show you all the services which are currently running in the emulator. So you can see the Surface Flinger activity, which is activity management service and a lot of them. Right. And if you want to know the status or the current state of all the system services, then you could adb shell dumpsys dumpsys this will output the entire logs of all the system services so simply giving adb shell dumpsys will dump the entire status of all the system services okay so to show how big it is i will just dump it again to dump.txt okay. so i have opened the dump.txt here in the visual studio code you can see that it has dumped the status of all the system services so first it will show all the system service and then it will show the status of each of them okay so you can see there is around eighty four thousand six hundred and thirty four lines of data okay so when you work with system services you may not need to dump the entire status of all the system services you just need to dump the status of only one particular system service so to do that what you could do is just pass the service name here like in case if i need to dump the activity management service then i could simply give activity so activity is the name of the activity management service okay then so now i have opened it in show studio code here you can see now i have only activity management service related information okay and it's like um, around six thousand lines of code okay? so this will show you all the information about the activities let's take another example let's take adp shell dumpsys disk stats so this dump will show you the information about the current disk capacity and its sizes so here you can see it just shows this much information and it shows 89 percentage is free and uh, in the data partition and cache this 89 percentage fee and the system it says five percentage free let's take another example to dump the bluetooth information to underscore manager i guess so this is pretty big but um, and see uh, all this information yeah which shows the bluetooth status and all the information related to the bluetooth now let's dig a little bit more deeper into dumpsys so as we already know dumpsys is basically a binary program which resides in the android system binary program is basically compiled from cpp. so you can find dumpsys.cpp under the native cmds folder okay so here you can see a lot of command line programs like a trace bug report so the dumpsys is one of them and the dumpsys is pretty a simple program so you can see the dumpsys.cpp and it also has a header file and the main.cpp so the main.cpp does nothing it will simply call dumpsys.cpp and the dumpsys.cpp has this main method which will take all the arguments which we are passing from the command line and it will first go through the argument and then it gets a handle to the service through the service manager so as you might be already knowing all the services within android should is registered under service manager so this program basically gets a handle to the service through the service manager and based on the command line or the arguments passed it will execute the corresponding dump method within the system services so all the system services within android has a dump method okay so the dump method comes from binder so i'll just show you that to make it pretty clear so if you simply search for public void dump method within the services folder then you can see that all the system services has this dump for example let's take bluetooth manager as an example you can see see that there is an overridden method dump and this dump method is coming from the 
binder okay, the binder class so all the system services extends binder class as well so that's why we are overriding it here and the data which you are seeing in the command line or the in the export the dump stat dump sys export that is nothing but it's coming from here okay so maybe to prove that we could quickly check the bluetooth status so in this case um, it prints the bluetooth status and all this information as shown here right so let's quickly do one um, dumps this of the bluetooth service and see whether it matches to this uh, print so let's do the dumps this of bluetooth manager and put, let's put it in uh, dump dot txt so that we can check it in visual studio code okay okay so now we have this uh, dump here which is just created so you can see here the bluetooth status so this is nothing but this bluetooth status which is printed out from the dump method okay let's see it has all this information bluetooth status enabled true yeah you can match it here with the bluetooth status enabled state is on the address it's showing this one and the name this name okay and time since enabled okay so it's basically printing out the data from this dump method okay so all the system services like if you come back here you can see all the system services has this dump method this is display manager service so it also has a dump method which will print all these things so dump internal will basically print all those details so to summarize dump sys command is used to get the status of the system services so you could use the adb shell dump sys hyphen l to list down all the services and if you want the dump of everything you could simply use adb shell dump sys without any parameters and if you want it for a specific service then you could just pass in the service name here okay each of the system service will have this dump method which is basically responsible to print the dump sys status 